Brigadier Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart. Regarded as one of the most popular recurring characters in all of Doctor Who. For good reason. This is a character which I adore. He is one of the many reasons why I love the Third Doctor era so much. His association with the majority of the classic era Doctors showed how much of an important character he was not just to the show, but to the Doctor. First appearing in a 1968 Patrick Troughton story, The Web of Fear, as a colonel for the British Army, Nicholas Courtney will go on to play the character on and off till the 1989 Seventh Doctor story, Battlefield. Having watched many behind the scenes documentaries of the special features of Doctor Who, DVDs, it became apparent that Nicholas Courtney loved being a part of the Doctor Who family, as do many other actors who have appeared during the show's 57 year history. Courtney always spoke so fondly of his time on the programme, and his association with it lasted until his death in 2011. Indeed, his beloved character has been mentioned many times during the new series, hence leaving a legacy. The Briggs' daughter, Kate Stewart, also became a recurring character after her father's off-screen death. Like him, she worked for a military organisation known as UNIT. The Brigadier was notable for being one of the founders of UNIT. This organisation was made to tackle alien threats to Earth. I'd imagine that after meeting Yeti in the London Underground, this would have prompted him to be part of this new organisation, which would make its first proper on-screen appearance a year later in the 1969 story The Invasion. Now promoted to Brigadier, Lethbridge Stewart was clearly an influential figure in this new organisation. In addition, he was a crucial ally to the Doctor in thwarting the Cybermen invasion. As a story, there's so many things to be picked apart from the invasion. From its amazing one-time villain, Tobias Vaughan, the imagery of the Cybermen marching outside St Paul's Cathedral, and then Unit, led by the Brigadier. All the cast were really good in this, but I think that Nicholas Courtney put in another memorable performance in this, as he did in The Web of Fear. He always had an on-screen presence, and this continued throughout the rest of his appearances. This must have led to the decision being made behind the scenes to make Lethbridge Stewart and Unit become a staple of Doctor Who going forward into the John Pertwee era. As discussed previously in my video talking about the structure of Doctor Who as a whole, there was a real shift in the way that the show was made in the 1970s. In my opinion, it was hugely beneficial. The Earthbound stories which featured Unit headed by the Brigadier provided some of the most memorable stories which Doctor Who has had to offer. Every story in Season 7 had some sort of alien invasion, whether it be shop window dummies, weird ambassadors, or those werewolf-like primords. It was during this season that the relationship between the Doctor and the Brigadier was put to the test a couple of times. For instance, the Brigadier learnt about the Doctor's ability to change his appearance. Naturally, he would not have believed that this was the same man who fought alongside him against the Yeti and the Cybermen. Also, even the Doctor questioned Unit's decision making and what the Brigadier really stood for. In Doctor Who and the Silurians, the Brigadier was given orders to blow up a Silurian base and this showed an act of genocide, showing that both characters were not always on the same page. It must be remembered though, Lethbridge Stewart had a military background, he was just taking orders at the end of the day, 
and he had to fulfil them on behalf of humanity. In this story, the Doctor was only becoming familiar with being UNIT's scientific advisor. Thankfully, this never ruined the Brigadier's reputation as a character. Nicholas Courtney and John Pertwee had such a good rapport with each other, and it provided some of the best moments in Doctor Who history. The banter between the two it was hilarious at times. The Brigadier often came out with some of the best one-liners. One of the worst aspects of having a character as great as Brigadier Lethbridge Stewart, though, is that it all comes to an end. When the Tom Baker era began, he was still there, but the programme shifted again. This time to off-world adventures, much like the early adventures in the 1960s. After 1975's Terror of the Zygons, Nicholas Courtney's lovable character was barely mentioned through the remainder of the Tom Baker era. Like before, with Pertwee, both Tom Baker and Courtney did enjoy each other's company, and I do wonder what it would have been like to have the brig pop up again in the later half of the Tom Baker era. Unfortunately, he didn't. It took a whole eight years before the character returned, by which time Peter Davison was now the Doctor. Mordrin Undead was one of the highlights of the Davison era, and I think the main reason for that was because of the Brigadier's return. It was so great to see him again. Thankfully, he returned again later that year, in the Five Doctors, reuniting with Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee's Doctors. I'm glad this happened because I think that these two Doctors are the ones which he had the best chemistry with, most certainly with John Pertwee's Doctor. Briggs' final appearance in Doctor Who came in Battlefield. At this point, Sylvester McCoy was now the Doctor. This one really felt like a last hurrah for the character. Now semi-retired, Unit had new personnel and he was married to his beloved Doris. Someone who was mentioned as far back as Planet of the Spiders. Now the original intention of this story was to have the Brigadier get killed when facing the Destroyer. Thank God that never happened. Instead what we got was the Brigadier saving the world again and saying more great one-liners, just how it should be. In the new series, he did not appear, but Nicholas Courtney did record some Big Finish audios with Colin Baker and Paul McGann, both of which he never appeared on screen with. Nicholas Courtney's final canonical appearance in the world of Doctor Who came in the Sarah Jane adventure story, Enemy of the Bane. Now knighted, Sir Lethbridge Stewart assisted his old friend Sarah Jane Smith in defeating the Bane. I'm so happy that we got this. I just wish that the character met some of the new iterations of the Doctor. Imagine the Brigadier alongside David Tennant or Matt Smith's Doctor. That would have been delightful. Regretfully, Nicholas Courtney did suffer from ill health in his final years. Nevertheless, his love for Doctor Who was something which was ever-present until his death. After Courtney's death in early 2011, later that year, Doctor Who paid tribute by having Lethbridge Stewart die off-screen after the Doctor, played by Matt Smith, is informed by a telephone call that his friend died peacefully in his sleep. The Doctor was visibly upset by the news and this scene gave just a small indicator into how beloved this character really was. Ten years on from his death, Nicholas Courtney should be remembered for everything he did, not only for Doctor Who, but for his other works as well. For many children growing up in the 1970s, 
he was as much a childhood hero to them as the Doctor. Courtney's passing has left a gap in Doctor Who which I don't think can be filled ever again. The Brigadier was a character who was just irreplaceable and it just goes to show that a lot of the stories which he appeared in are worth watching just for him. He will be remembered forever for being one of the most loyal companions that the Doctor has ever had.